Okay, on, on this video, I'm going to um, show you how to do the, uh, the best fit slopes on the velocity graph for the G moving plots lab. Um, and so this is my velocity versus time graph, uh, and I've just printed this out super big. Um, you can do this with a small graph. Uh, I've also got vertical grid lines, which is going to help us a little bit here. Um, but what we want to do is stick a best fit line, because this is sort of an acceleration, this is a deceleration like that. And a best fit line just kind of goes through the points like this. I'm not necessarily connecting anything with zero or whatever, but that looks like about the best. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Okay. There we go. And just go all the way up. Make a nice long line, because again, we're going to use the end points of this line to find its slope. And then I'm going to do this. And a best fit line just gets, it just sort of, it's like if you're putting it on a barbecue, you know, where would you, where would you stick the skewer? Kind of through the middle of the points like that. And there's actually a way to do this with Excel. We could select these data points and actually put a best fit line through there in Excel. Um, but this is good enough, right? So now we've got these points. We're going to use these end points to um, determine the slope of this line, right? So this end point here is just 0, 0, right? You're just going to read that off of there. If it's not 0, 0, just read what it is. This point here is over, well, I think it's over 2.5, right? And then it's up 70. Right? So all the way up here at the top, right? Right? So this line here, I'm going to call this A. Okay? The slope of A is rise over run, and it rises all 70. So 70 minus 0, right? Uh, over 2.5 minus 0, right? So again, you're just going y minus y divided by x minus x, right? And at this time of morning, I need to use my calculator to do that, right? So 70 minus 0 divided by, and you got to use the parentheses on this, okay? 2.5 minus 0. I, obviously, I don't need to subtract 0, but there it is, right? And that works out to be exactly 28. And then you, this this axis here is centimeters per second, right? This axis here is seconds, right? So rise over run literally is centimeters per second divided by seconds, right? So it's an acceleration. It's centimeters per second per second. Okay, and that this slope here, by the way, looks a lot steeper than this slope here, but we're going to check that out. Okay, now this line right here, I'm going to read these coordinates here. It looks like it's over 1.2 and up 70. And then this spot here looks like to be 5.2 and up 0. Okay, and that's line B, and the slope of line B, to me, looks like, well, rise over run, so 0 minus 70, right, divided by 5.2 minus 1.2, yeah? So parentheses, 0 minus 70 divided by, what was it, 5.2 minus 1.2, right? 5.2 minus 1.2, negative 17.5. And there's nothing to compare these two because we never calculated the acceleration. And that's centimeters per second per second, right? Okay, the other questions on there are, uh, where is the acceleration positive? Well, obviously this part here is positive acceleration. 
dot, yeah, right? This part here is negative acceleration, right? Whoops, forgot the minus sign on that, right? Okay, here. Okay, um, and it looks to me as though the positive, the, the positive acceleration is greater in magnitude. Uh, it is 28 centimeters per second per second as opposed to uh, 17 negative 17.5 centimeters per second per second. So therefore the positive is greater in magnitude and I think that's, that's all you have to do. Look at that, huh? Hope that helps.